Well, everyone makes mistakes. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Apple fails. We're going to take the biggest leap since the original iPhone. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at Apple's biggest commercial and marketing failures. In some cases, the product is good, but there were a couple of hiccups along the way. So let's get started. Number 10, the iPhone 7's missing headphone jack. It makes all the things you do with your iPhone better. Changes come at a hefty price. In the build-up for the release of the iPhone 7, rumors were circulating that Apple planned to ditch the analog headphone jack. Obviously, customers were not happy, but Apple wasn't swayed by the petitions or criticism. The company dumped the jack in favor of the lightning port, meaning customers could not listen to music through Apple's earpods and charge the phone at the same time. While Apple's marketing chief Phil Schiller called the move courageous, the decision was largely motivated by a want to free up space for extra tech. But from the start, we designed Lightning to be a great digital audio connector. Number 9. The launch of Final Cut Pro 10. I can see my entire timeline. A brand's name can make or break a product. Apple's Final Cut Pro is an important video editing program that's been employed by many Hollywood films. In 2011, Apple released Final Cut Pro 10, a program that was a complete departure from the previously released Final Cut Pro 7. Besides being conceptually different, the 10 could not import work from its predecessor and lacked some of its features. While Final Cut Pro 10 is a great program on its own terms, Apple could have better prepared existing Final Cut users for what proved to be an incredibly abrupt change. But it's great! Number 8. Apple USB Mouse, also known as the Hockey Puck. People don't like it. <laughs> the late 90s were a turbulent time for Apple. While they showed a willingness to innovate, quite a few of their products failed to hit the mark. At one point, the company managed to even get the mouse wrong. Apple's so-called hockey puck looks really cool, but the compliments pretty much end there. The USB mouse's perfectly circular shape made it hard to control, as there was no intuitive way to know whether the user was holding the mouse straight. The puck's lifespan was ultimately short-lived, as Apple went back to the drawing board and introduced the Apple Pro mouse. Some people think that this is the worst mouse in the world. We'd like to change that. Number 7. The iPhone 4's Reception Issues We're not perfect. We know that. You know that. Just three days after launch, the iPhone 4 sold over 1.7 million units. Unfortunately, not everyone was happy with their purchase. Many users complained about the iPhone's weak reception signal, a problem caused by gripping the phone's lower left edge. Apple's initial response left a lot to be desired, as they merely suggested that consumers should not touch the affected area while in a call or to buy a $30 bumper case. After a handful of frustrated customers took Apple to court over the issue, the company finally decided to take some sort of action and opted to supply cases free of charge. Okay, great. Let's give everybody a case. Number 6. The Apple Lisa Technological advancements are great, but they also need to be affordable. In the early 80s, Apple announced the Lisa, an innovative computer that was home to the first-ever graphical user interface and featured an operating system with protected memory. While these were important advancements for the industry, Lisa's processor struggled with the workload and in comparison with its contemporaries felt slow. Worse still, it was priced at nearly $10,000, around $25,000 in today's money. All of this amounted to pathetic sales figures, and the Lisa was discontinued less than four years after its launch. Amazing? Not really. Number 5. The Newton As always, Apple was looking to push the envelope with the announcement of their personal digital assistant. To that end, the company not only gave us the term PDA, but also brought handwriting recognition to the format. Kinda. In theory, the device would allow users to take notes, manage their schedule, and organize contacts. But most importantly, it would also translate handwriting to text. Except, at launch, this ambitious feature barely worked, a reality that practically killed the Newton before it really had a chance. I'd say that Newton is really peace of mind, right in the palm of your hand. Number 4. The Early Days of Apple Maps Beautiful, beautiful maps. 
unwilling to allow Google Maps to own the market. Apple released their own version in 2012. While things eventually improved, Apple Maps got off to such a rocky start that it required the company's CEO to publicly apologize. The application's biggest issues included misspelled place names, an inability to differentiate cities that shared names, out-of-date information about stores and places of interest, and completely wrong locations, all of which were pretty damning problems for a product marketed on its accuracy. Apple would eventually fix over 2 million errors in the app. We have this great traffic view, so it's easy to see where the incidents are. Number three, the Apple Pippin. Apple is betting that the TV will be the preferred viewing device with a new approach to home computing called Pippin. When you think of classic 90s gaming, Apple doesn't exactly spring to mind. The Pippin technology platform was licensed to Bondi Company Limited, which advertised its Bondi Pippin model as a gaming console. However, they sold less than 50,000 units, so it isn't that surprising. Depending on your point of view, the system was either an overpriced console or a cheap computer. Stateside, the system offered just 18 titles, but it did offer players the opportunity to connect to the internet, or as it was known at the time, the net. Unfortunately, very few people had an internet connection up to the demands of online gaming, making the Pippin a pretty useless purchase and underwhelming experience. Number two, the Apple III. Apple, the personal computer. Complete failures are quite rare, but Apple found a way to do the improbable. Replacing the Apple II, the Apple III was meant to push the company into the business sector. Instead, this faulty device led to near financial ruin. Partially due to Steve Jobs' inflexible demands and instructions to not include a cooling fan, this device suffered from overheating and would break down after a couple of hours of use. This was particularly problematic since it was targeted towards businesses rather than hobbyists and enthusiasts. Software for the Apple III was also scarce, and the computer got dismissal reviews right out of the gate. Hey. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some dishonorable mentions. At least his hands were comfortable. I know nothing about computers. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about computers either. Are you getting that weird symbol when you type the letter I on your iPhone? We're about to show you how to fix it right now. Number one, the backfiring clone licensing. It's a whole new world for Apple these days. Mac clones, a new OS on the horizon, fierce competition. With Microsoft dominating the PC market by licensing out their operating system, Apple tried to close the gap by doing the same thing with their Macintosh. The idea was to provide a cheaper means for consumers to get used to Apple's system, but the clones were often more advanced than the Macintosh computers. Unlike Microsoft, who were mainly into software, Apple's decision just resulted in an oversaturated market that threatened to leave them in the dust. With Motorola preparing to launch their Mac-based G3-powered Star Mac 6000, Apple opted to stop the licensing program to save themselves. I went to the clone vendors and I said, guys, we're going to go broke. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.